we are meeting Pedro Aleman, who is a member of the U19 Valencia CF Youth Academy. Hi guys. Here you go. Um, so Pedro, thank you for, for joining us. And I think uh, the first thing I want to um, ask you, question from one of our players, what youth club did you play for? And how did your youth club prepare you to join the Valencia CF Youth Academy? Well, when I was four, uh, I joined a small team uh, near my house. Then a few years later, I moved to Elche, that was the main team of the city. Uh, they helped me to improve myself. As when I was 13, I was playing uh, under 9, under 14. So it helped me as play with older people helps you to improve your your ability while playing football and how did valencia discover you i played for this the same league as valencia so scouts contact my parents i was very happy to know that what was the most important for your development before arriving at the academy was it your youth club or was it the league? In my opinion, they are both important as if you are part of a club that appreciates you and values you, you are going to play with confidence and your performance will, will be good. However, on the other hand, if you play for a competitive league, it helps you to, to improve your abilities as well. How important were your youth club coaches for your development? And who was your favorite youth coach and what did they teach you? Coaches are very important for, for players. Uh, the ones that have been more important to me are the first and second coach from my first team, Salva and Javi, that taught me the, the basics of football. Also, Angulo and Paco, that are my currently that are currently my my coaches. They gave me the confidence to play to play good, and I'm grateful for for them, as they have helped me to to develop as a footballer. On your academy team and in the academy itself, are there any players who are not from Spain but from other countries? Yes, in my team I play with a friend's mate an English one and also a certain. No Americans yet. There's one player that was born in New York, but he's American, Italian and English as well. So kind of. Well, there are a lot of Americans on this call right now that would very much like to make that. So that's what they're working towards. So uh, maybe someone here. Um, Okay, this is a very interesting question. Uh, we, we get this question a lot. And it's, what is the main difference between Valencia's style of play and Barcelona's style of play or Real Madrid's style of play? How would you describe Valencia is a well-organized team. They have a, a great coach and great players that and everyone knows how they have to play. Also, the, the main difference between clubs is that Valencia gives the opportunity to the Youth Academy to to play for for the first team or or to train with them. What is the biggest challenge you face? Well, the the biggest challenge is to overcome your rivals or even your mates. And in order to to do that, you have to work hard and be ambitious ambitious to to improve your abilities as a as a player what keeps you motivated to play at the level that you're playing today things can get very difficult so what keeps you motivated what keeps me motivated is to to improve myself even as a footballer and as a person and i hope one day i i can achieve my main goal that is to play for, for Valencia first team. What extra can a player do to get to the... As I have said, the trainings are very important for your performance. 
but every factor affects affects it so nutrition and maybe sleeping time is also important and and i follow diets that the the man who controls nutrition in the academy says and it's also very important to me you get specific nutritional directions from the club and that you have to follow those that's part of being in the academy yes i live in the residence this person is the one in charge of making the the menus and everyone has to adapt to it what do you do to prepare yourself for the big matches the big games the night before i like to sleep for more or less 9 hours and hours before the match i listen to music and i start to to imagine how the match is going to be so it's a way of of being focused how do you balance and manage playing football at such a high level and also needing to have your academics at a high level how do you manage for me education is very important um it's a way of being organized and making an effort to to study and play football at the, at the same time also the the club helps us as the appreciate our effort so everyone can is able to study and be great at both things what do they need to know that would be important for them to join the valencia youth academy when the time is it's difficult to to adapt to the new style of life but the club has wonderful person the people that that helps you in order to to develop as a person and also as a footballer of course how hard is it for you at the academy to compete and communicate and and work with players from other countries when you arrive and you are from other countries you don't know anything about the language so everyone tries to to communicate with them and help them to to learn spanish if not we can talk a bit in english as you can see i can defend myself talking it's not perfect but but i can and it's a way we have to to help them and and help them adapt that it's very important is it correct to say that performing well in school is part of the competition between players yes of course um studying is a way of develop uh, developing your mind and it will help you to to play football so it's a way of of improving as well and also the the club values it a lot it makes a difference between between two players it can be Matthew are you on the are you on the line? Do you have any questions for uh, Pedro? Yes, I am on the line. When you do train with the first team, you're one of the players that uh, that's the youngest. How do you are you nervous? Are you telling yourself I'm confident? Are you passing the ball as soon as you get it or do you say no, I'm going to show them that I'm really good? How do you integrate yourself into training? How's it feel? Before the training, I'm pretty nervous. I have to to say it, but When I reach the the field, I play as I know. I don't think there's a lot of changes between me playing with the first team and me playing with my team. But I'm not trying to impress anyone. I play like like I am. Which Valencia player is your favorite? I like to go to to watch the the first team play. Uh, every every day that I have the opportunity, I go. So my kind of an idol is Parejo. I love how he controls the game and he's also very smart while while playing. I like to 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 be similar than than him. I I I know that it's not easy to to be like him like him but but to try out at least. I want to thank all of the players who have submitted questions and and I want to thank Pedro is impressive to speak with you and and to have this conversation with you. Thank you again everyone. Have a good day. Thank you, Joe. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Valencia. Thank, Thank you, Pedro. Have a good one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.